Hey everyone, welcome back to Feline Facts. Today, we've got a fascinating topic to delve into, the crucial differences between male and female cats. If you're a cat lover or thinking about bringing a new feline friend into your home, understanding these differences can be essential. So, let's jump right in, 1. Physical Characteristics First things first, let's talk about the physical differences between male and female cats. While it might not be immediately obvious, there are a few key features to look out for. Male cats are generally larger and heavier than their female counterparts. Additionally, if you check the underside of a cat, you'll notice that male cats have a greater distance between their anus and genital opening compared to females. 2. Behavior and Temperament Now, let's explore the behavioral and temperament differences. Female cats are often considered to be more independent and territorial. They can be a bit more reserved, especially if they haven't been spayed. On the other hand, male cats are typically more social and affectionate. They may be more prone to marking their territory by spraying urine, especially if they haven't been neutered. 3. Vocalizations Another interesting aspect to consider is vocalizations. Female cats tend to be more vocal, especially during the mating season. If you've ever had a female cat in heat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Male cats, on the other hand, may be quieter but can become more vocal if they're trying to attract a mate or assert their dominance. 4. Neutering and spaying, let's talk about a crucial topic for any responsible cat owner, neutering and spaying. It's essential to control the cat population and also influences their behavior. Neutering, the procedure for males, involves the removal of the testicles, reducing territorial behaviors and the urge to roam. Spaying, for females, involves removing the ovaries and uterus, preventing heat cycles and unwanted pregnancies. 5. Health Considerations Beyond behavior, there are health considerations as well. Unspayed female cats are more prone to certain health issues like mammary tumors and uterine infections. Neutering male cats can reduce the risk of testicular cancer and prevent certain undesirable behaviors. Which gender combination gets along best? If you are contemplating about getting more than one cat, you may hear that certain combinations are preferable than others. Anecdotal data suggests that male-female pairings outperform male-male or female-female pairings. A research by Barry and Crowell Davis, on the other hand, discovered negligible variations in positive or negative social behaviors in residences with solely male cats, only female cats, or a mix of male and female cats. Male cats were more likely to spend time together in the same room, and female cats were never reported to groom other cats, but no other differences were observed. Most notably, the findings of this study demonstrated that individual cats' social behavior varies greatly and that individual personality is more important to consider than whether the cats are male or female. It is easiest to adopt littermates if you want to have numerous cats in your home. Because cats are territorial, introducing new cats can be a lengthy and tough procedure. Even if you make the proper introductions, there is no assurance that your cats will enjoy each other's company and become friends rather than simply tolerate each other. Adopting littermates guarantees you'll have two cats who get along and enjoy each other's company. Adopting littermates aids in good socialization since the cats learn proper cat behavior from one another. When they are bored, they can also entertain and play with each other rather than attacking your feet. Even if you don't want kittens, hunting for older littermates or bonded companions in the shelter is a better bet than adopting two unknown cats. Do you want a male or female cat? Personal preference ultimately determines whether to get a male or female cat. It may take some trial and error for cat parents to discover their choice. Some cat parents may not have a preference and want to have one of each or to swap off depending on which cat they meet at the shelter with the best personality. 
While there are some distinctions between male and female cats, the variations are usually due to the particular cat and their personality rather than their gender. So, there you have it, the crucial differences between male and female cats. Whether you're a seasoned cat owner or thinking about adopting a feline friend, understanding these distinctions can help you provide the best care possible. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the future. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy cat parenting.